My name is Yvonne and I'm a curator at Uniprot and I will guide you through today's webinar, which focuses on our curation efforts on proteins involved in neurodegenerative disorders and how we hope to increase our understanding of these diseases through data curation. By the end of this webinar, you will hopefully be able to identify where to find molecular data on proteins involved in neurodegenerative diseases and explore the richness of disease relevant information available on Uniprot and be able to retrieve information on protein variants and visualize their impact on protein function. I will firstly give you a short overview on Uniprot and then present our curation project on proteins involved in neurodegenerative diseases and guide you through a Uniprot entry with the example of presenilin 1 and its involvement in Alzheimer's disease. In the end, I will give you a short overview on a new development on Uniprot, the Uniprot disease portal. So Uniprot is a consortium with curators and developers working at EMBL EBI in the UK, at PIR in the USA, and at SIP in Switzerland. At Uniprot, we aim to provide uh, the scientific community with a comprehensive, high quality and freely accessible resource of protein sequences and functional information. By expert literature curation, we provide detailed information on protein molecular function, protein-protein interactions, signaling pathways, subcellular locations, uh, tissue-specific expression, and more. We provide protein sequences, including isoforms and disease variants, and post-translational modifications. Importantly, we also provide stable identifiers the Uniprot accession numbers that allow for specific identification of a protein and should be used when citing a Uniprot entry. Uniprot is updated every eight weeks and can be freely accessed and downloaded at uniprot.org. Uh, at Uniprot, we have several curation projects ongoing, and one of these projects is uh, focusing on proteins involved in neurodegenerative diseases. The aim of the project is to provide experimental information for proteins involved in neurodegenerative diseases through literature curation, the annotation and assessment of pat pathogenicity of protein variants associated with disease, and the curation of orthologs of disease-associated human proteins in model organisms such as mouse, rat, the elegance and the fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster. With these curation efforts, we hope to provide a link between genetic variants, protein function and disease phenotype. The workflow of the curation project is as follows. First, we identify curation targets by querying disease databases such as OMIM and Orphanet and by literature search. We then collect and review the relevant literature for the identified proteins and we perform bioinformatics analysis to annotate protein domains, motifs, pro protein families and identify orthologs in model organisms. We then integrate the molecular data on protein function, protein-protein interactions, localization, expression, post-translational modifications, and protein structure where available. We also annotate disease variants and assess their pathogenicity based on criteria from the American College for Medical Genetics and Genomics. We then supplement the information we have on human proteins by curating the orthologous proteins in model organisms such as mouse, rat, worm, and fly. With these curation efforts, um, we aim to create a, a platform of information to enable research activities such as data-driven research, diagnosis, transla translational medicine, and personal medicine. So to access one of the protein entries, you go to the Uniprot main page and you can search your protein of interest in the free text search bar. 
or you can use the advanced button to the right where you can uh, refine your research, uh, your search for um, organisms or search for specific terms such as Alzheimer disease. You can also access Uniprot resources with the quick access tabs below the search bar and you can access disease information with the disease access tab where diseases described in Uniprot are listed in an alphabetic order. If you have any queries or feedback to one of the protein entries in Uniprot, please write us at help at uniprot.org. Now I will guide you through one of the uh, protein entries that was covered by the ongoing curation project with the example of human presenilin 1 and its involvement in Alzheimer's disease. On the main entry page of the protein entry, you will find following information, the Uniprot accession number, the protein and gene name, the organism, and several comment sections. In the function comment, you will find the molecular function of presenilin 1 described and its involvement in different signaling pathways. This function comment is a free text format written by one of our curators after careful assessment of available literature. You can um, go to other uh, comment sections by using the access tabs to the left <coughs> and jump to uh, the expression data or protein, int uh, protein interaction data or any other um, section of interest. To identify the source of information, every comment uh, is tagged with an experimental tag, or, or sorry, with an evidence tag, either an experimental tag referring to the PubMed ID, um, where the information is from, or then with a similarity tag, when the information was propagated from an orthologous protein from another species. You can also access a full list of publications that are associated with the protein of interest using the access um, tab to the left, where you can go to the publication viewer. In the publication viewer, you can find manually curated publications that are reviewed by one of our curators and that are tagged with a gold standard tag. Here you can also find computationally mapped publications that mention the protein, where you can look for further information on the protein, and these um, references have not been reviewed by one of our curators. Notably, you can also submit your own um, references of interest. You, you will find this option on the main Uniprot page in the Uniprot data section under submit your data and choose uh, associate the publication and annotation to a Uniprot entry. In that way, you can contribute literature to your protein of interest and help us find relevant papers to curate. Back to the protein entry of presenilin 1, you will find information of disease involvement in the pathology and biotech section. Here, the diseases that the protein is involved in are listed and you find following information, the disease name and the acronym, and the associated references, as well as a short description of the disease, which is derived from literature and OMIM database. You find also a link to OMIM below the disease description where you can find further information on on the di disease mentioned. A note before the main disease description is used to describe the role of the gene protein in disease pathogenesis and distinguishes when possible between causative susceptibility or modifier gene according to the literature and OMIM reports. At Uniprot, we also annotate um, protein variants, uh, functional variants, that is mutations in the coding region of the gene. And we annotate 
missense amino acid substitutions, nonsense substitutions producing a stop codon, and small in-frame insertions and deletions. And these variants are then assessed for pathogenicity based on guidelines by the American College for Medical Genetics and Genomics. And we distinguish three different categories for the variants. Disease causing variants, variants of unknown pathological significance and benign variants. These manually curated variants are also listed in the pathology and biotech section and are listed under the disease that um, they are associated with. Following information can be found in the variant section. The Uniprot specific variant identifier, the variant position, the amino acid change, the disease association with the disease acronym if it's uh, described on OMIM, then variant specific comments like impact on protein or organism, variant evidences and database cross-references such as cross-links to ClinVar Ensemble or the NCBI DB SNP. If you would like to further analyze the impact of one of these variants on protein function and structure, you can go to the feature viewer, um, which is accessible on the left-hand side in the display. In the feature viewer, uh, the features that are annotated for a protein are visualized. The features are organized into categories, including domains, sites, PTMs, and variants and others. And the categories can be expanded by clicking on the category header. If you click on the variant section, the variants are displayed below. The variants are color coded, indicating their involvement in disease and red is for pathogenic and likely pathogenic variants. Light green is for likely benign variants and dark green for uncertain status of a variant. The blue variants, um, they contain a predicted consequence um, on protein function and they are mostly imported from large scale studies such as COSMIC, Ensemble or the 1000 Genome Project. And uh, you can, uh, the, the variants are also, so they are displayed along the X axis according to their protein sequence position and along the y-axis according to their amino acids change. You can also filter for variants uh, with the filters on the left-hand side of the diagram and you can choose to filter for the likely pathogenic or pathogenic variants only, uh, which will be then displayed in red. If you are interested in a particular variant, you can click on one of the variants and the window will pop up with information for this variant. So for this specific variant at position 435, you will see the amino acid change, the consequence, the description of the variant, if there is some characterization known on impact on protein function, the disease association, and you will also see um, the cross-reference to OMIM, as well as publications with PubMed ID. You will further also see then the overlap with um, protein features that are displayed at the top of the diagram. And this is indicated with a yellow bar, as you can see here for this variant. You will find that this variant 435 is overlapping with the PAL motif, which comprises amino acids 433 to 435. And you will find further the description of regions of interest indicated here with a brown bar at the top. And you will find that the PAL motif region is described to be important for cleavage of target proteins which is um, highlighting a possible impact of this variant on protein function. To then further assess an, the impact of a variant on protein structure, you can choose 
uh, one of the PDB entries that are displayed in the feature viewer, if there are any PDB structures available. The chosen structure is highlighted in yellow, and you can see the structure on the right hand side where the variant uh, selected is highlighted in red. And like this, you can analyze a possi possible impact of the variant on protein structure. You can further zoom in, in on the amino acid of interest in the structure to analyze the surrounding environment of the disease associated variant. On another note, if you're more interested in large scale approach to analyze variants involved in disease, we offer programmatic access of human variant data in Uniprot. And this you find on the main Uniprot page under Uniprot data programmatic access, where you can access data uh, through the proteins rest API and this um, you can access coordinates for curated variants as well as imported variants from large scale data sources, including the genomic coordinates. Back to the protein entries in Uniprot. We also provide information on orthologs of human proteins in model organisms, such as rat, mouse, uh, worm, and the fruit fly, fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster, which proved to be excellent model organisms to study neurodegenerative disorders. We perform bioinformatics and functional analysis to identify orthologous proteins and classify them in families with a standardized nomenclature for, pro um, for protein names for easier identification. And the, these model organisms allow the identification of protein functions through knockdown and knockout studies in whole organisms or in cell or tissue specific manner. And this data is described in the pathology and biotech section in, in the protein entries under disruption phenotype. And mutagenesis assays allow the study um, to study the role of conserved disease relevant amino acids. And they are also listed in the protein entries as shown here for the E3 ubiquitin protein ligase Parkin, a protein that plays a role in Parkinson disease in human. So um, in the end, I would like to give you a short overview on an exciting new development in Uniprot, the Uniprot disease portal. A prototype has been released last year and the Uniprot disease portal was developed by our software developers and usability experts to offer the user a disease centric entry point into the data available on Uniprot. And at the moment, the disease portal offers information for Alzheimer's disease only, but hopefully in the future, we would like to offer information on all human diseases available in Uniprot. So please note, this site is still under development and your feed, feedback on uh, user experience would highly be appreciated. Let's have a quick look inside the disease portal. So here uh, in the disease portal, you will find information on Alzheimer's disease and you can select subtypes of the disease which are classified according to OMIM. Uh, you will find information on associated proteins, which are currently 267 proteins, which were identified by literature and um, disease databases, as well as input from uh, Alzheimer's disease researchers. You will also find drug candidates for these proteins and um, sequence variants that are associated with Alzheimer's disease. If you choose one of the proteins of interest, uh, you will find following information. Here, the example of human APP. You can look uh, into protein-protein interactions with this protein. And um, 
which are empty in, interactions are imported from intact and you can filter the interactions for subcellular, subcellular location or disease involvement of the interaction partners. You can also find information on signaling pathways the protein is involved in, and this is important from Reactom. Then you can find the sequence variants similar to what, I sh what I've shown you before for the protein entry. But here you can also find the genomic location, which is not available in the protein entry in Uniprot. Then you will find disease association, as well as the drug candidates imported from Campbell. So please have a look at the disease portal and report your experience back to us with any um, input, suggestions or critics. And with that, I would like to end, and I hope I could give you an overview on the information we offer on proteins associated with neurodegenerative diseases and um, the information we provide through orthologous curation in mo model organisms, the links we provide from molecular defects to protein function and disease phenotype, and with these curation efforts, we hope to give an overview for researchers in the field of uh, neurodegeneration and to help them in their research activities, such as development of new medication, disease prevention and diagnosis of disease. And I would like to thank my colleagues at Uniprot. This curation project is a joint effort from everybody at Uniprot at the three different sites, EMBL, EBI, PIR, and SIP. And I would like to acknowledge our funding bodies, the National Institutes of Health, the European Molecular Biology Laboratory, the Alzheimer Research UK, who funded the, mainly the development of the disease portal, the Biotechnology and Biological Science Research Council, and Open Targets. And I would like to thank you for listening to this webinar. Please use the chat box to ask any questions or write us at help at uniprot.org. Thank you for your attention.